Troy, you talk about uh, Sundays being a bit of an animal uh, for you guys. Uh, you put your finger on something uh, for today that led to the result. What would they be? Uh, enthusiasm, heart, passion, character. Next. What forced your hand uh, to juggle the lines today? When? During the game. Poor performance. Next. Turn it off from Friday to today. Two days. Two days for the next one. What do you have to do when going into the next game? My first quote. Find heart, passion, enthusiasm, character. Why, why is it, Troy, that the guys come out and they play with so much passion in some games? And I know you've got the short turnaround, you've got the flight times, et cetera, et cetera, but sometimes the guys come out and it's like one or two guys in one line want to play and somebody just brings them down. And, it, and that's tough to deal with as a coach. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's the process they go through as young pros. Like they're trying to figure out who they are and what they want to be, you know. It's not that hard, though, for me. It's not that hard. It's, it's the reason why you first put on a pair of skates. Because you love the game. Because you have passion. Because you wanted your mom to take you to the rink at 6 in the morning. Because you wanted to go skate outside on an outdoor rink. That's the reason why you play the game. They forgot the essence of why you play the game. To have fun. They didn't have much fun today. Playing your old team on Tuesday. A little bit of a reunion for you? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit of a reunion. Um, I'm just hoping to have a reunion with my real team. A couple power play goals against today. I think EK has been maybe not quite as sharp last couple of games. What have you noticed on this road back there? A little bit of personnel. Um, you know, trying to find the right personnel. You know, Lang wasn't in there today. Des came back from coming down. Um, so it's a little bit of shuffling of personnel and your awareness. and things like that but in fairness to the penalty kill like it's been unbelievable on the road and it's been very average at home all year and that's why our record is what it is at home what's his status he's healthy he's doing great how does it, how does it feel to have back in the well if, you know it, uh, it's always safe you know it feels good you know it's like having a good catcher in baseball Catcher is the heartbeat of your team in Major League Baseball. Goalie is the heartbeat of your team in hockey. That and your centerman. So it felt good. I mean, Irv's a heck of a goalie. He's winning and doing well in the National Hockey League. He gives us a chance every night to win um, when he plays down here. So it's it's a very comforting to have Irv back because you know he's, uh, he's got a special talent. And he has a desire, passion, character. He's a good pro, so it's good to have him back. Thought he played pretty well. Troy, when the players go out and play pro, they naturally elevate their level of game to a whole new level. Coming back, how is their mindset? They come back to the fact that maybe coaching staff has to sort of take them in the corner and settle them down a little bit and say, look, you're back here? No, we just uh, we just help them. Like you know, basically, it's such a different style of play. Like they come back from uh, we're managing a different style today, and we manage like three, four checking systems because it didn't seem which one we had like was going to work today. So we managed through three, four checking styles today, and like um, you just kind of like down here, it's it's more of like um, it's kind of like a you know fire drill. You know, it's like it's just everybody kind of goes everywhere, and sometimes you know it's tough to come down and play here especially for a goalie. Uh, Leland would be the first to say that because pucks are coming from everywhere and they're more calculated up top. Um, but, you know, you just talk to them and you settle them in. And, um, you know, when they're young, uh, i.e. Like, uh, like a Brody a year ago or Nima or a Buma, like when they're young, then you kind of got to ex- do a lot of explaining, a lot of teaching, a lot of holding of hands, a lot of making them understand the big picture. When it's like a Dez or a Kalanos and guys like that that have been around, they, they just kind of settle themselves in. The unfortunate part sometimes is whether it's travel-related, whether it's just the release of, geez, I didn't play as long as I wanted to because in our business we call it a cup of coffee. Sometimes they want a coffee and a meal, and 
they want everything else to go with it. But sometimes it's just a cup of coffee like Dez. Like he played two games and he came back down. Um, but a guy like Dez is a good pro. I don't have to rebuild him up or anything like that. So it varies on the guys, player to player and experience and things like that. But with Dez today, there wasn't much work or herbs. Like, they, they, you know, they're ready to go. Unfortunately, you know, we just didn't, we didn't do much today. Like, they're just being truthful. Like, we didn't, we deserved exactly what we got today. That's life. That's the way it should work. Yeah, yeah. The, the veteran thing is an issue. Um, although when the when, <laughs> I mean, you have glasses. One other guy's got glasses in here, and some of us don't. Well, like, doesn't take a lot to figure out tonight with glasses or without which veterans played pretty well, and which didn't. So, <laughs> going forward, it doesn't make hard decisions. You know, we have nine vets. You want to play? You got to play well. You know, because we had some guys that sat out tonight that are pretty good players. So, you know, unfortunately, you know, that's the way it worked today. But it doesn't mean it'll work that way on Tuesday. Like, But right now, today, it didn't work out the way we wanted. So that's we're just managing our vet issue. I think we're good. Okay, thank, thank you. you.